Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I did a review. Um, what you're looking at here is probably my last review in this apartment. I've come downstairs because um, my apartment doesn't have great lighting and I recently put in, I just realized there's an echo here, I recently put in um, a white light bulb and so now I can kind of shoot down here a little bit which is nice. Um, before I had a yellow one and it didn't look good, it didn't show you the true colors of the camera. But I'm actually right next to this heater that we never use and it's echoing. This is the first time I've sat down here to do a, a review here, so um, I hope the echo isn't too bad. But I think the lighting here is pretty good. Give you guys a, a true representation of what the figure looks like. So this is the homemade version of the Spider-Man Homecoming suit. As you can see, I have added some accessories, mainly from the regular version. Um, he's got the headphones here, he's got the backpack, and I have his science book in there. Um, I didn't want to take it out. So you might say, well, why did you put that on this figure instead of buying the one that it came with? And the reason for me is very simple. I realized that I don't really like the Spider-Man suit that much. What I do like is the fact that Peter Parker made the suit. And that, to me, is Spider-Man. And so this is the suit that he made. And um, the one that Stark gave him, it's... I, I think the movie was going for the fact that it's it's a little bit out of his league at this point. It can do all sorts of cool things. It's, it's the adult Spider-Man suit. Um, for me, though, it didn't match what I like the character to be. I like this homegrown neighborhood local guy just doing whatever he can and whatever he can do is not much which is why he runs around in pajamas you know and I guess in the Tobey Maguire version when when he makes that intricate suit himself the fact that he made it allowed me to look past how complex it was but um, when, now when this is his homemade suit and then he trades up and the way the movie portrayed the, the other traditional suit um, I just prefer this one um, I think the design of the suit is great. Simple is is good. I like the color scheme. I like the figure. I like the way he moves, the way he articulates. I've seen videos of people with uh, the, the of the regular suit, the Stark suit, where it's bunching up at the joints. Uh, you don't have any of those problems here. Everything here is very simple, easy to use. Is this Spider-Man though? Probably not. Will I buy a traditional? Spider-Man Stark suit, yeah, but it looks like he's going to be wearing the armored suit for Infinity War. I will buy that just for the novelty, but I'm sure he's going to get his traditional suit back again. So I'll look to the second, the the, the second version of Hot Toys because they tend to do better on their second turns. Um, with him, I pose him in a little bit of a, like a running pose and like a hey, I'm shooting away, hold on, don't be scared, that sort of that sort of stance. Um, the backpack, when you have this this holder, the backpack doesn't sit properly if you want it to grab him at the waist. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, for now, I'm going to just let it go. I like him with this school gear on. I didn't buy the blazer because I thought the blazer was an extremely identifying piece of clothing. And it would be really irresponsible for him to wear that while he's out swinging around. I know it's movie accurate, but um, like I said, I'm just going for what I I feel is Spider-Man right now. Um, his socks are striped. It's kind of interesting. Um, the stand is fine. I know, I've seen some people complimenting this type of stand. and um, Like I said, I, I didn't like it because it stifle the backpack a little bit but whatever uh, let's look at the accessories I'm gonna post this up for a second I need to get a I just I keep forgetting to buy a tripod every time I do a review I say the tripod sucks and then I forget to buy another one on Amazon and whatever at least I'm not doing it on carpet right I think I'll have to do a collection video when we move because 
Uh, I'm going to be looking to buy some more Detolfs. I'm going to have my own space. It's going to have my TV, my Xbox, my desk, this this desk, um, and my my collection. So I think I'll probably do a video then when that's ready. In the meantime, let's look at. So I, I took out one piece of web. I like the webbing came in in the tray here before it used to come sort of loose and that was a pain if you had the other figures um, so what you do is you take this or is it that little part that juts out and you jam it into the hole right in the middle there and so that's how he looks with it sticking out it doesn't fit particularly well I mean it fits it's just it's just you know um, so like that's how he looks. I mean, it looks fine, but I've I've had the black Spider-Man. I mean, I do have him, and the regular Tony McGuire Spider-Man, and I just don't feel like the webs add a whole lot unless you've got him swinging from the ceiling or something. Yeah, I just don't feel that way. Um, one complaint I do have about the figure is when it came out of the box, these um. I don't know what you would call them, strands here, this, whatever, the strings. This one, it's gotten a little better since I've left them out for two days, but it was like folded, it was folded to the left, and so it kept, like, see how it's sticking out like that? Um, that was really annoying for me. So it's sort of relaxed a little bit now that I've left it out for two days, so maybe you guys won't have this problem or it'll resolve itself. Um, the eyes, I haven't tried to swap them out just because I feel like, although it's a nice accessory to have, most of the time, the standard normal eyes are what you need. Unless you're going for, you know, some Instagrammers like to, um, take specific types of pictures and you want a specific expression, great. Um, but he looks fine. He looks like he's focused and he could also look natural. It doesn't really matter for me anyway it, it doesn't really matter um, so yeah let's so let's look at his he's got this spider web thing which I haven't even looked at like I said I, I don't like to mess with the webs also it clutters um, the display I think if you ask me so and I like I prefer not to keep them out just because I feel like his head will get dusty um, but anyway, he's got a fist, he's got shooting hands, he's got fists, he's got wall crawling hands, and he's got gripping hands. These hands have a little grip in them for, the, for him to hold the webs. He's got a mask to hold in his hand for when he's unmasked. That's a really cool feature. Um, one of the reasons I got into collecting, there's two reasons. When I was younger, my sister used to babysit this little kid, and I went over to his house once, and he had this high-end, not high-end like Hot Toys, but high-end for just general toys. The, the figure must have been this tall. It was Peter Parker or Spider-Man. Sorry, this tall. It was Peter Parker or Spider-Man. And he had the costume on, and he was re articulated really well, and, you know, it was bigger scale, so the likeness was there. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be Tobey Maguire. It was just Peter Parker. And um, you could put clothes on him. So you would put his jacket and shirt and pants on, and then it was Peter Parker. And, and then you could take it off, and it was Spider-Man. And you could put the mask over his head, and it fit really well. And that, it just, I thought that was so cool. I was like, that's basically the real thing in my head when I was a kid. And I thought, I want that whenever I could get it. And I never did get it. And so that was always in the back of my head. Fast forward 20 years, and I see the DX09, the Michael Keaton Batman. And it looks like the real thing. I'm like, this is what I wanted that other thing to be. Except now I can afford it. So I bought the DX09. And I said that to say that now I have my Spider-Man. Like, this is kind of a weird landmark moment for me. Because um, it's like I have that Spider-Man figure that I always wanted. This is Peter Parker and Spider-Man. He's both. He's almost the real thing. Um... So that's very cool for me. Very exciting. Having said that, he comes with 
And here's something I was looking at. So he comes with this battle damage skull. And while that's very cool, and I'm glad they included it, I think I prefer a clean version. But the clean version only comes with the homecoming version, right? Um, the other thing is, the homecoming version doesn't come with the neck peg as far as I can tell because you're supposed to put it on the figure. Um, I saw some issues with the proportions that, that the homecoming version, the sorry, the Stark suit version, has a longer neck. So again, I'm I'm content to wait. It's just I don't I don't like using this Tom Holland sculpt because it's I I'm, I want to play with like neighborhood Spider-Man, not Vulture battle Spider-Man with Peter Parker, you know, face damage. I'm not interested in that. I'm much more interested in a clean look for him. So I'm not using this right now, but I am grateful for the neck peg for when I do decide. I'm I'm assuming another Peter Parker sculpt will come either with Infinity War, although that one might be more battle damage, it looks like. But I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if, if the Iron Spider suit didn't come with a head sculpt. But the Homecoming 2 sequel will come with a head sculpt, a clean one. Or I might pick it up off of eBay, but I'm waiting for now. I'm just waiting. Um, the head sculpt is fantastic. And it was a big selling point for me. However, in hand, something about it and I don't know if it's the battle damage, but something about it is underwhelming. And uh, I will put the head sculpt on for you guys. By the way, the headphones don't fit well on the, on the unmasked sculpt. So let me pause for a second. Be right back. Okay, so here he is unmasked. Um, one, another critique I have to say is this figure does, um, does suffer a bit from not having a relaxed hand option he has the gripping hand and that's where you can stuff the mask in I tried to do it but it wasn't really working and so I'm not that interested um, I'm trying to scoot back so you can see he looks pretty good by himself this hand he probably should be posed a little better I, th I was trying to get him to wave move the shoulder up a little good he's standing on his own right now um, like I said, the Tom Holland head sculpt, it's great, but this isn't my preferred look. Although, I don't know. I like that he's got a little bit of a smile in the corners of his mouth. I'm trying to get it to focus. Um, you can see the string sticking out there. It's kind of annoying, but not too much to live with. I think that the backpack really makes it. Um, and I could take out his book and I'm trying to find out where I put the, the headphones. I misplaced them in the box somewhere. Um, here's his head. Oh, they're right here. Okay. As you can see, the headphones don't really fit. I think they go this way. Gonna be hard to do. Sorry. It's not really working. So if you're wondering about that, it's not gonna happen. Um, okay, let me put the guy back on the stand and let's look at the concept art. All right, here he is in a little bit more of a natural pose. Um, I moved the arm a little bit. I like that he's turned into the side. Doesn't look too bad here. The head sculpt too. It looks. I like it. Um, this might be worth being on the shelf for a while. Um, okay. Looking at some of the concept art here. This looks like what we got, but without the belt. Notice the eyes are kind of like googly eyes a little bit. Um, this was probably too intricate. I'm looking at the, he's the artist Ryan Muirding says there are runs in the comics where the blue on Spidey suit is actually a lighter blue than the value of the red and I just always love that concept the homemade suit was really based on trying to find a way of getting that color scheme with the powder blue and a really strong red and using a Todd McFarlane spider on the chest 
It just felt like a more innocent version of Spider-Man, and since Tom Holland was going to play an actual high school kid, it made sense having a suit that was, almost had childlike innocence to it. I agree with that. It's, I think that's one of the reasons I prefer this one. This is still a little too intricate. Um, this one looks doable. I don't know about the belt. The belt kind of reminds me of 70's Luke Cage. Um, that Spider-Man logo isn't bad. These eyes are these eyes are too intricate. This is okay. It's still it's too much closer. It's too close to the classic suit. The, this is the pale blue he was talking about. Some of the web shooters. This is his Stark suit. I won't, you know, I won't be going over this one probably. So I'll just flip through a little bit so you guys can check it out. I mean, these books are awesome. Great references if you want to draw Spider-Man, which I like to do. I'm glad they didn't go with the, uh, I don't like the, the web between the, I know they did it in the movie briefly, but at least you're not s stuck with it permanently. Something like this could have been cool. I guess they went with that design with the armored version. I haven't actually looked through this book yet. I haven't had time. Um, man, look at all these different versions. I wonder if the if the iron oh that's cool, look at that. I wonder if the iron spider version sorry, my hand is getting tired. Give me one second. I'm just flipping through Vulture. Shame we didn't get that figure, huh? Look at that wingspan though. Hot Toys could have done it. Kind of makes me want to watch the movie. Shocker. I'd buy a Shocker figure. Here's some more Vulture concept art. The pages are glossy and the light's right next to me, so I apologize for that. Basically a bunch of different variations of the jacket and the high-tech helmet. I don't really care for the helmet. I like the green eyes underneath it, but other than that, who cares? Hmm. Look at that version. Interesting. It's a cool picture. I'm, I'm looking for the Iron Spider, if you guys are wondering why I'm flipping through this so quickly also cool. I like the green. They probably should have gone with that. Damn. I like when when uh, characters have their own color scheme. I don't I don't know. It's just something that I'm into. A vulture mobile. <laughs> I mean, this is this is Spider-Man to me, but the Stark suit in this movie, it didn't work for me. This is much closer to what that picture is, if you ask me. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's at the end of the book, because that's when they show it at the end of the movie. The image Control, Washington, D.C. Book is awesome. I gotta get around to it. I'm oh, sorry. It's a cool shot. It's a cool shot. Fight with the vulture. You get
get stuck under the rubble. Another good one. That's Spider-Man to me. Torn up suit. You know, just making it on his own steam. That's Spider-Man. Oh, brother. I'm also rushing because my arm is like really tired holding the camera up. Um, hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. Really? Who designed the... Who designed the Iron Spider? Well, damn. Let me check the table of contents. This is the scene, right? Okay. This is Iron Man's Mark 47. I'm not buying it, so this will be the only time I cover this on the concept art. This looks like the 45. They probably just pasted that in. Um, damage control. Yeah, it's not here. The hell? I mean, it might be if I flip through it more slowly, but... I'm looking for a table of contents. This school schedule. Well, I guess I can't find it. Um, okay, guys. So overall, I think this figure is worth it. My rationale is that I am not buying um, the Stark suit version. So I'll wait for that. A more traditional Spider-Man costume later down the line. Maybe when it suits the character to have a suit like that. Um, I think they're kind of jumping the gun with the Iron Spider suit, but. Oh well, um, so yeah, overall I'm very pleased with my new Spider-Man, my MCU Spider-Man, and I think I'm going to keep this post for a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you probably in a different apartment, in my man cave. Alright, bye.